Hey kids, um, we're here uh, in week one of quarter four. And uh, like you, I got a message that um, it looks like we were gonna be moving to kind of um, a complete slash incomplete type of grading system for quarter four. Uh, I have a ton of questions about it. This is something brand new. So um, be patient on that. There's probably gonna be a lot more information coming out um, this week, but we don't want to lose uh, too much time because the county has um, a wonderful lesson here for you. What I'm going to do is um, take you through my screen uh, just so that you can see all the assignments and I can uh, kind of talk you through them a little bit um, and hopefully uh, answer any questions that you might have um, before you start going into it. So remember, you can do this all at once. Like if you just want to spend like all day, one day finishing up all your English work, you can do that. You can work on it a little bit at a time and come back to it. You will need to do all of the activities in order. Um, so we've set it up that way for you. Um, and you're gonna start right here with the topics and objectives. Okay, so click on that part. And this is basically just um, an overview of everything that we're gonna be learning in this lesson. And then, let me close this out for a second. There's a next button here for you to push when you're done reading through that. Okay. And then down here, you've got uh, a warm up. So this is just you can see right here, it says do it on your own paper or a Google Doc. So this is just for you to kind of write down some thinking. When you're finished with that, you go ahead and click the next button. It might say mark as done there. Um, if it says that on your screen, then go ahead and do that. Okay, next up is a Google slideshow, just like we would do together at school. This is gonna talk about some um, types of arguments and keep these things in mind because you're gonna to need to know them for the next activity. Okay, when you're done with the slideshow, you click next. Okay, for this part, you've got a preview here of a sort lesson. So based on the slideshow that you just watched, you're gonna choose two different categories. So you're going to put one category right here and one category right here. And then you'll see different types of um, arguments and you're going to sort them into the two categories. You can just cut and paste um, to show that sort. Okay. Now, this is the preview. The actual assignment, you click right here. Okay. So you click on that and it's going to open it in a new tab. And then when you come back to my MCPS classroom, you just hit the submit button once. The color of the submit button doesn't change because you're allowed to go back and make changes on the assignment until the due date, but you only need to push it once and then I get a notification on my phone that you've done your work. Okay. All right, so now we have rhetorical appeals. Okay, and you've got another slideshow here to watch. Okay, and there are some other resources uh, linked in here, Pathos and Logos reference sheet, um, if you, if you want to read the meanings along with some examples to kind of help you understand those two topics. And click the next button. <clears throat> okay, again, you'll click this link here to open it in a new tab and that'll be your copy that you can uh, right on. Sorry, Raja is sneezing right now. Okay, so for this one, you have to use, you're analyzing a speech or a poem, and I'm okay if you want to do a little bit of both, uh, but right here are the links to get to them. So when you open this in a new doc, just click on either this link or this link or both to see those resources, and they'll open again in the new tab, okay? Think about your audience, think about the central claim, Copy an example, you can just copy paste that. And then over here, you're writing how should the example make the audience feel, okay? So you're gonna do a few of those. And again, it'll be easier to see when you have it open in your new tab, okay? So you're looking for emotion, you're looking for logic, and then you're done. Okay, I've got 23 seconds here to finish this up for you guys. Okay, and finally, you're doing our wrap up. There's an exit ticket right here. Come on and load. Okay, go ahead and click on that. Right here is the link. 